All right. Uh, question C. People under 40, n is equal to 330, so that means of the 750 people we asked, 330 of them are actually under 40. And of those people under 40, 58% of them responded that they would prefer to be living in New Zealand. And those aged 40, there was 420 of them, um, responded 71% of the time that they would prefer to live in New Zealand. So what's the margin of error of this difference of 13%? So first of all, just where that 13% comes from, that's 71 minus 58, and that's equal to 13%. That's your percentage difference between the two. So we need to calculate a confidence interval around that difference. How far above and how far below that 13 should it possibly be? So, so to answer this question, we need to think about um, what rule of thumb to use, like which margin of error are we going to calculate? And since that's comparing a difference, if you want to think about your flowchart, we've got basic rules of thumb. If there's no comparison, it's just 1 over the square root of n. If it's a dependent comparison, like for instance a yes versus no, so if one person changes their mind with yes, it's going to change the numbers that say no because they can go from yes to no. Then we use 2 times 1 over n, square root of n. In independent groups, this is where if one person changes their mind, it doesn't actually change the result of the other group you're comparing it to. So for instance, if one male decides to go from yes to no, that does not change the females. They're going to stay exactly as they were. Versus in this case, looking at everybody all in total, if one person goes from yes to no, it changes the number of no's. It decreases the yeses and increases the no's. So in our case here, we're looking at two distinct groups that are actually independent. We've got people who are over 40 and under 40, so we're going to use this flowchart here, which is the 1.5 times the average MOE. So, the reason we have the two independent groups is that people under 40, if one of them decides to change their mind and say, oh no, actually they'd rather live in Australia, that doesn't change the 71% of the people over 40. It only changes the 58% under 40. So they are independent. So we'll start with that. Our percentages between 58 and 71 are um, within the margin of error range that's valid for us between 30 and 70. So I need to calculate um, the margin of error for both under 40 and over 40. So I might start under 40 here. So that's going to give me 1 over the square root of 330, which is equal to 5.5% with rounding. Over 40, I'm going to have 1 over the square root of 420, and that is equal to 4.9% with rounding. And now I need to find the average of those two. So that's going to be 5.5 plus 4.9 all divided by 2, and that gives me an average of 5.2%. So this is my average. And then to get the actual confidence interval numbers I'm going to use, my plus or minus, I need to go 1.5 times the average, which is 5.2. And in this case, I'm going to get to 7.8%. So 7.8% is what I'm going to use with my confidence interval. So I might go ahead and draw that here. The difference between them at the moment is 13, and then I'm going to do plus 7.8 and minus 7, oops, 7.8, which is going to get me somewhere between um, 5.2 and upwards of 20.8%. So we're saying here that I'm 95% confident that the difference between these could actually be as little as 5.2% or as much as 20%, where we're saying actually over 40s may prefer living in New Zealand up to, or from 5.2% up to 20.8% 20 more than the, over, than the under 40s. Get it written down here. So what's the margin of error? We've got that. And does it support the statement? Here's where we have to write it out. So I could say 
I am 95% confident that New Zealanders over 40 prefer um, I might actually say confident that New Zealanders over 40 are more likely because we're saying that they are more likely to prefer to live in New Zealand between 5.2% and 20.8% more than New Zealanders under 40. Okay. So important there that you're specific about the population and in this case because you're comparing groups which group within that population. So New Zealanders over 40 and New Zealanders under 40. And we've made it clear to say that um, the over 40s are more likely to prefer to live in New Zealand. And the last thing I would say is that you know this supports the claim because zero is not included in the confidence interval. So again, looking at our confidence interval, they're both positive numbers. Zero is not included here. So we are saying that, yeah, at both extremes of our confidence interval, the case is that the over 40s are more likely to want to live in New Zealand than the under 40s. So we could say zero not included. There is a difference.